And nothing Prince Harry won't do for his wife, Meghan Markle. Seemingly not. But what is it this time? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for joining me today. Yes, nice to see you. I hope you're all keeping well. If you're having a birthday today, very happy birthday. Also, can I give a big shout out to people in South Africa? A lot of people say, we watch you over here, but you never mention us. There's so many countries in the world. Of course, we could be here all day mentioning our countries that watch this channel, and I'm truly grateful. But for those watching over in South Africa, Thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Very kind of you. And of course, for everybody else around the world, you're truly welcome. Thank you for making me so welcome on YouTube. I genuinely see you all as friends. I know it sounds a bit daft, but you know, I'd really enjoy talking to you. You're lovely people. And thank you so much for all your kind comments. You know, I love the fact that we all have the same mind share. And even if we don't, it's nice that it doesn't have a bit of a debate. I saw a few of you having an argument though the other night. That's not good. Don't bother with that. Save your energy and time, you know. Flick on here and watch another play, another video, you know. Don't get too heated. It's not worth the effort. My motto is, if there's an argument brewing, make a holic, sit back and relax. Back as ever though to your breaking roll story of the day. This particular story really centres on the fact that as we know, Prince Harry is very, very, uh, well, you know, shall we say protective of his wife, Meghan Markle. And it must have been very difficult over these last few years because thanks to him, particularly with all of his stupid sayings and his outlandish claims on Zoom and stuff like that about burnout and quit your job, you know, it must have been hard with the backlash that they've received. Self-inflicted, as many might say. But now, as you know, Meghan's big directorial debut, the big thing that she was working on, called Pearl for Netflix, has been given the bullet. And uh, some might say, well, it's deserved, you know, they, they kind of have done the wrong thing. It's not very nice, really, whatever you're going through. You know, when you start to make a programme, you don't set out to think, oh, I'll make a rubbish programme. You try your best. I do kind of feel, though, that a lot of the ideas that they were pushing forward, and this was one of many to Netflix, had been done before and possibly better with more experienced people. Right, yeah, I know you're thinking David Furnish, aren't you? I know, stop it. Now, what's interesting here is though, we can tell you first an exclusive on the show, and as ever, we have to say, yes, allegedly deal, but seriously, we have to say allegedly, that Prince Harry reached out to the very top of Netflix, begging the team not to ax Meghan's production. Now, as you can imagine, this is proven very embarrassing because he's currently working on his Invictus Games uh, production and he's done quite a lot of work on that, you know, tried to get the PR up, up and running and uh, that big spectacular show out in the Netherlands, which was very well received by that country. Got friends and colleagues out there who tell me it was a big success for him. So, of course, Netflix are now pondering, well, you know, if this doesn't work, you know, the whole thing could be off for Harry and Meghan. They would hope to get other deals, but really there was none bigger at that point than Netflix. Now, the bigger problem that Harry and Meghan have got is simply this. You know, for Prince Harry to go and say, please don't dump it, you know, it's not really a case of that with production companies. They have to make a profit. And right now, Netflix are simply not making that profit. They spent a lot of money on Harry and Meghan, but they didn't give them the millions, as we've said before on the show that you read about in the media. They don't pay that much money up front. You do if you're a big success. But those things are few and far between. Think the crown, think Bridgerton. That's where the money's been going. These two untied, tested producers, executive producers, storytellers, whatever they want to call themselves, well, that's the bigger issue. You know, can they now make this work? Moving forward for Harry and Meghan, of course, they do want to unite and carry on making entertainment for their Archwell Studios. But right now, money's tight across the broadcasting world. And more importantly, they will not want to put their own money into this because as ever with something like this, it's a huge risk. So Prince Harry begging really, as ever, has fallen on deaf ears. The whole project with Netflix is truly dead and buried. Let's see where Prince Harry decides to take his battle cry next. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.